Hello everyone It's being now And I'm competing in the Attacking Two Cans Donabelle's Super Mario Galaxy race. I'm not quite sure what the conditions are for starting. Um or I may as well go over the rules. First of all, you're not allowed to break, like do any sequence breaks, so sequence breaks? No, no, um you can't do any recording breaks, so you can't splice it up for fails. You gotta keep everything in, so that's the pain bit. Um The other thing is that uh I've also got um to time 30 minutes, which is a bit of a pain because I need to start that. Alright. So it's all good. I got my 30 minutes up. I'm not quite sure what the starting conditions. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 30 minutes from the point where the message comes up. Um, so we're gonna just be Yoshi because he's so happy, even though he's not in this game. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put a timer on the screen to tell you how far I am in. So I guess it's just when I hit play, that's when we're going to start. Okay, so without further ado, let's do this. In three, two, one. Okay, so this game starts off with... Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The torrents brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became the great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, this cake. That's it, that's it. <laughs> now, I, I may be feeling like I'm gonna have to try and rush this because, of course, I'm in a race against the world. So basically, standard Mario rules apply to to this. You just run around, you can do the long jump, and by Mario rules, I mean Mario 64 rules. Um, so yeah, you just run around, you can do your triple jump. You can do a backflip and a long jump. So pretty much. Now for fans of mine, you'd be able to tell that I think we're taking a step back. Aren't we? You're using a camera again. What, what are you doing? Well, there's a bunch of things. I may as well tell you that I have had three capture cards and all of them have had varying success. In fact, increasing success, but not enough success, so to speak. The first, well, actually, the first one was pretty good anyway. Um, point is, there's bad things going on. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna talk over it because I know someone like Trevor Conroy has already done this game, so of course everybody knows about this game pretty much. I'm pretty much doing this for the competition as well, so. You know, it's just fun. 30 minutes a week. We'll try and get this. We'll try and get a good place. Maybe third. I don't know. I couldn't compete in, in uh, the Attacking Two Pans Sunshine Versus. I couldn't compete in that because... Um, uh, because I don't own Sunshine, which is such a shame. I, I also don't really know the game too well. I know this one fairly well in order to compete. But I don't know it too well, you know? So anyway, yeah, Bowser has got magic powers and flying sources. This game came out the year before Indiana Jones 4, mind you. So anyway, yeah, everybody's trapped in crystal or ice or whatever they say. So anyway, they say the princess, oh no. Anyway, so yeah. One thing I like is that this courtyard area is the same as the um, courtyard. Or this garden that is exact same as Mario 64 and you can actually walk around and stuff which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be kind of rushing to the end. You know, generally, generally it's good, but, you know, I got a timeout. I mean, I mean, I'm already three minutes in, I don't know exactly where they started timing.
Anyway, yeah, laser beams. This is a bit why I prefer Mario 2. Oh, damn, Mario 2. Galaxy 2. Galaxy 2 just kind of doesn't really sit through this cutscene as much. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't go into this. Like, you have to watch each of these. Start yanking on the castle. Doing what Bowser did about 10, or actually no, that was 6 years beforehand in Paper Mario. Jeez, that was a whole console break in between, wasn't it? I also don't know how Peach survives in space. That's one question. People wonder how does Mario survive in space? Well, how does Peach survive in space? I mean, she doesn't have the Luma, or she has a Luma, but the Luma flies away. So she has, and the Toads, like seriously, they're in space right now. They're out of the atmosphere. So I have no clue. I also don't know how Mario is such a weakling to the Magic Koopa. You could say it's comic, but I have no clue whether it is or not. I honestly have no clue where, what the timing of this first, first part is actually, to be honest. But, we'll just go with it. Because I know we're already five minutes into the recording. Or five minutes into the... Into the... Playing. Oh, gosh. No, I'm doing the Let's Play. So anyway, what you gotta do is you gotta follow the bunny. There weren't any bunny sequences, and... Oh, wait, no, this is just follow the bunny to the bit with the other bunnies, even though you can technically sequence break it, but... Yeah, there wasn't any bunny chasing in Galaxy 2. Okay, so firstly, I know it's kind of where they are. First one's in the pipe. Well, you can take them in any order, but they'll tell you kind of where the other one is. So anyway, you gotta keep going. You can try and hit them with star bits. I find that pretty tough. So anyway, yeah. Uh, there you go. There's one. The crater. Okay, so you're like, okay, next one is go to the crater. There's two craters, which is really annoying. One's actually just a hole. There's Canberra. And this one is actually a crater. I don't know... <laughs> I wish they explained that a bit better. I'm one of those people who prefers Galaxy 2, may I just add. Because Galaxy 2 really worked out every single really minor flaw in this game. First of all, that crater bit. They, they found out that the bunnies are not the most enjoyable things. Or at least several times. So they decided, don't spam again. And then it's like the grass, okay. So you gotta go around, you gotta find the grass. I believe it's in the Stonehenge bit. There you go, Stonehenge. Oh, it's outside it. There you go. I honestly have not played Galaxy 1 since 2009 as well, so that's the thing. There you go. Mama! Mama Peach? Mama Luigi? This game tosses around more mamas than... Insert adoption joke here. So anyway, I'm going to be doing a bit of sequence breaking. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I went there. This is the gateway to the starry sky. Thank you, Rosalina, who is magically in, like, every other game. I mean, come on, Rosalina wasn't in the sequel. The Luma was just magically there, I guess. The sequel made less sense, that's one thing. But, considering that most people would have played the first one, they would have been like, yeah, sure, totally. <laughs> I will also say the second one is a bit cheap. Uh, I don't know, I'm just one of those people who, like... When there's a sequel, I just always kind of rant, rage about it if it's running the exact same thing, pretty much. 
it's like a content pack, which it technically is. Anyway. So anyway, now we've got the ability to shake. Anyway, this is a launch star. This is one of the methods of transporting yourself between planets. Another one's a sling star, which is kind of launches you, but it's generally the same thing. Anyway, first thing, I'm not going to talk to Luma. First thing, you got to collect star chips, or at least, um... Differences between this and other Mario games is that, or at least if you play Galaxy 2, then pretty much you know. In fact, if you're watching my LP of that, that's why. I, wow, I have short attention span. Um, yeah, I just, I just never got my capture cards working, and then when I got one that would, that would work, the laptop just isn't very nice way. I finally come to the fact that the laptop just doesn't like it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, get the five star chips and move on. Anyway, coins, they only increase your health by... Oh, oh yeah, you gotta hit that. Oh, wait, no, you gotta kick the Goombas, yeah. Well, they're not really Goombas, or at least they say they're not Goombas. Well, I think you gotta talk to this guy. Yeah, I think he triggers it. He triggers the other guy. Hooray, oh. right, I'm very good at this. Anyway, so... Generally spinning into an enemy, you get star bits. Star bits aren't entirely necessary, but they uh, need to get the extra stages, which I believe we're going for in this versus. I think that's kind of what you need anyway. So you need to beat Bowser in anyway, so I don't know what's going on with that. I think you need to beat Bowser in order to get some of the levels anyway, so yeah. Anyway, you gotta talk to him. So, uh, oh wait, wait, no. He doesn't trigger it, he just, he just gotta go over here. Big Goomba, I'm surprised they didn't throw him into more stages, because he's pretty awesome anyway. I mean, look at that. He fights just like a regular enemy, or a regular Goomba. So anyway, yeah. Oh. Hurry down here! Okay, anyway, yeah, this is the end of the first stage, just in here. We've been waiting for you. Reminds me of the thingy in Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Yeah, that came out first, so I'm going to reference that. Instead of, as I'm probably going to be shamefully said, saying, uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. Slight spoilers at the end of the game, you gotta like shoot something that's like this, except it's a modern shooter, so the challenge levels are very high. Yes, I know to turn them off. Anyway, you just stand on these, and the thing goes, oh no, see? That's why the combine didn't power them like that, they just power using a lot of switches. Yeah, we're flying, and you may be... Yeah, that's the other thing with the sequel. It's just like... It doesn't make... Or it gets rid of the observatory and just turns into a map select screen, which makes it slightly more sense, doesn't it? I mean, you're basically just traveling between the levels rather than shooting yourself there, which I don't really know how each of the observatories gets more power to do so. I mean, this only, this only complicates people if you're really looking into it. Like, you're wondering how the heck does one observatory see further than the other? Isn't that technically pointless? So anyway, we're going to need to get this up. But anyway, there's one galaxy in the turret, so we're going to keep going. Whoa. The peak you is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star. But at least the poor Loomis will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the grand star. My name is Rosalina. It's in my home, apparently. We see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away its our star bits and our power source, the power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state, which cannot move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. So 
the only way, yeah, they use star power. You need to hit every note in a star power phrase, and you gotta do that twice in order to be able to activate star power. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong game. No, um, star power isn't. Basically, what they're trying to say is you need a certain number of power stars in order to unlock. Or, oh, sorry, you need to collect the grand stars to get into each observatory. Each observatory is locks, galaxies, by the number of stars in general. So anyway, you're going to need to unlock the stars, or you're not going to need to get the stars. The point is, do the game, pretty much. I like how Galaxy 2 has a bit more levels as well, like they spread out the stuff anyway. I know, we're already on our 14th minute here. Or, oh, sorry, our 15th minute, we're almost halfway there. See, yeah, I don't, I just didn't know exactly where we were starting from for this, which kind of confused me. Anyway, uh, generally you don't really need items to, to do things. You can pretty much just do most of the stages in the galaxy anyway. Anyway, most stages have three main stars and there's evil readings off the charts. Oh, jeez, apparently you haven't seen the rest of the game, which actually does get pretty tough nonetheless. But... Point is, first stage, no no piranha. Anyway, yeah, most stage, most of these galaxies have three comets, or at least the main galaxies have comets? No, three stars. Most of the... I believe there's 15 of these main galaxies, and then they also have three bonus stars that you can get later. Some of them are hidden, some of them are Hungry Luma, so to speak. And the Hungry Luma ones, you're going to need to collect enough star, star bits for the Hungry Lumas. I believe in this stage it's... Not a hungry limer, I think it's in the next stage, but we'll be able to find out later. Anyway, the first thing you gotta do is go up here. Sequence break! Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah. That's right, I'm going there. Star chips. Nope. I think the hungry limer is on this one. I'm not 100% sure, but it's always good to collect the star bits nonetheless. These things are kind of tough to, to defeat. As well, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be getting uh, things. Da, 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 da. I'll be able to find out and then we'll just pretty much note it. I think if you see the person, it marks it on your stage selects, you know. I, oh, they also took out these enemies, I believe, from Galaxy 2. Okay. Anyway, we're on good 50. Anyway, there's a, I'm not sure if it's a shortcut. You can go around this planet like regular, or you can go down here, which goes to a bit of a secret area. And it will launch you off onto the next planet. You earned one Mario. It's not an extra man, it's an extra Mario. This is like Mario 128 all over again. Okay, and with that done, completely skip that planet. Oh, you want to take out this guy, by the way. What you gotta do is you gotta spin. Oh, nope. You gotta get on top of him and spin, and then you can kick him, and he drops like tons of star bits, which is good if you're trying to get that hungry little muscle. That's somewhere. I, I don't think it's on this stage. No, it's not on this stage. I believe there's a one up behind this uh, pillar. Hold on. Well, you can't. You can't see. Oh, well. I believe that's it, actually. That's the stage. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. Hungry Loom is next one. I lied. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so anyway, we've got a boss. This game has some very good bosses. Some of them more annoying than others. The sequel does not have as many annoying bosses. In fact, it doesn't have any annoying bosses. Well, there's none that I can remember. In fact, it's got a few that I can't remember <laughs> even. But I don't remember being too annoyed by bosses in the sequel. In this game, a few of them are annoying. The Dino Prime one is an excellent 
is an excellent first boss, just because it's, it's clever but not painful, or actually it is pretty obvious. But, um, oh gosh, I can't speak. Um, pretty much just don't, don't get hit and all that stuff, which I seem to get hit, so, stuff that. Anyway, so we got the first start, and now we're going to get some exponi exponential, no, some exposition. Aha, uh -huh. let's see what, actually no expos, no exposition, I believe that's the next star. Nope, yes, exposition. Those are star bits, they're tasty, Then you point them at people. Now we're going to show you how to use them. See, the sequel just like literally jumped into it and we go feed him five. So technically you get two profit from that, but <laughs> I believe it's a lot more efficient than later stuff. Anyway, next star. We're gonna jump into the next star. Anyway, so you have to get the next star in this galaxy as well. Although the third one is optional. In fact, yeah, the sequel, I think most galaxies have two. Yeah, most galaxy have, in the sequel have two stars, except, and some have one, but they all have, like, two comets or one comet in them, so, so about that, because this game it's always either six or one, pretty much, or seven, maybe, no, it's six. Yeah, it's six. No, it's seven, seven. Yeah, it's seven. I need to go down this way, you want to go down, you want to just kind of jump over. You don't want to rack up the star bits here, because I know there's a hungry loser on this stage. How many? I'm not sure, I'm going to say 80. But they keep raining down anyway, but it's not good for a speed run or versus. Okay, one up. So we're already on 50, which is surprising. I believe, yeah, the 101 was on that planet. No, it's on the one after. Yeah, yeah, do you, you don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? Yeah. Let's get on. Anyway, these pool stars weren't really used much in the sequel. Yeah, he's on this planet. Or he's, so, or he's on, um... Actually, there's a kind of interesting thing on... This planet. This planet is actually a set of planets. So there's three planets that you can constantly go between, and I believe it's on the last one of those planets. These spongy planets are a bit weird. I believe it's on the last planet that you can proceed, but one of them has the hundred lunar on it, and I'm trying to figure out which one has the hundred lunar or enough. So it's, or maybe it's a hundred. I think it's a hundred actually. But I think it'll be good if I try and get the hungry moon straight off. Okay, so we're just gonna jump into the next one. There's a thingy on the way, but I'm gonna ignore that. Yeah, there he is. He's right there on the top of the egg. I'm gonna ignore that, and I'm gonna try and get 100 on this. I bet you it's gonna be 80, but I'm gonna go save for the 100, so I don't waste time or at least I'm wasting time anyways. Shut up! Go this, you go back a planet actually, if you go into the other star. Alright. Hundred. There you go. Ah, it was a hundred, yeah. Come on, hungry limer, I've only got seven minutes. Keep going. So anyway, yeah, you're pretty much just gonna be spamming all these solids. That being said, the stages with the Hungry Lumas are actually the, some of the best if you're going to grind the Star Bits. You don't really need to grind. Actually, no. I think this is necessary. Gosh, what am I thinking? This is the necessary path. You need to spend the Hungry Lumas. Oh my goodness, I'm a dumb pants. I'm sorry, I haven't played this since 2009. Excuse me. 
Like, they haven't lost time, I just don't know what I've been talking about for the past hour. Whoop. Ah, shut up. <laughs> I believe, I believe there's like a similar planet in the sequel. The sequel did like, uh, this planet, except you use Yoshi and you start eating the, uh, thingies. We're gonna be pretty pressed for time. Cause I got six minutes and I'm gonna wanna try and fit in another star. Going up here. It's not that one. Well, I'll, I'll get the coin. Aha! There it is. I'm sorry, the whole thing's upside down. Sequence break! <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like it. Uh, uh, uh. Go. That's the sound it makes, apparently. Five minutes, five minutes. Okay. Now you're supposed to collect the star chips, but... I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I'm cutting time! You're supposed to collect the star chips and... And then you use cool stars, but... Come on, if they designed the game like this, let's see, this, again with the sequel, the sequel didn't have as many sequence breaks. That was the excellent thing about this game, this game just like filled, was filled with these breaks. Actually, if we can do like a side galaxy, let's just say that the time limit, if we go slightly over the time let's just say that's because we started from the... Slot. Okay, we're gonna go for that third star actually, because I know the third star isn't too far away. Or isn't too much hassle to get. King Caliente's battle fleet. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get. Thank you, loading. I believe that planet was at the uh, E3. It was a big planet that they showed off. I think it was 07. They didn't show off 06, I don't believe. Now you're supposed to go to the other side of the planet and. You're supposed to go to the other side of the planet where that orange pipe is and then you get. Oh gosh. I'm trying to show off my sequence breaking skills. Yes! No! <laughs> ah, stuff it, stuff it. The orange pipe is here, yeah, so it's not, it's not difficult. I could have saved some time doing that as well. Wait, wait, hold on. You can do the bonus thingy from one up, but since your lives reset when you turn off the game, why would you do that if you're doing like a race? Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, it's a fun thing. If you have 9,999 star bits on both characters, I believe. Spoilers, spoilers. These turn into watermelons, which is fun. Oh, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna hit that, and the gravity should pick it up on the other side. Or not. But I believe you need to take out that one. Hang on. So you get the sling star, and then I've knocked one of those. over the thingy anyway. It must be being like a bonus star. And actually yeah, you can go into the down pipe to do a bonus thingy. Again, I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry! Whoa, gosh, I did. Wow, I, why did I feel that? Anyway, yeah, I remember this being in the beta. I also remember you had to play the music notes. Whoop. Well, I'm trying to do this fast. Yeah! Onto the fleeting. I'm sorry, I've got one minute twenty. 
I know what I'm doing. There you go. Got it. Don't sequence break that much. We these are called electro goombas. Or oct octogoombas, maybe? I think they're called octogoombas just because they look like octorocks. Especially the pink ones on your jeans. Oh, here's a fun fact if you see like these things, they call them lamps. And you shoot them with a star bit, they um. They drop a coin, which is fun, although they tell you right there anyway. Okay, we got <laughs> 40 seconds. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm gonna go over this time, but. I mean, like, jeez. It's, it's barely over time, huh? So anyway, you play like tennis with this guy, and then his crown will go from the lobby, it's like, no! Oh gosh, I'm gonna get my blue things. I love this. The blue things don't go on like every spot. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! What the heck? I just flip. Dude. And there you go, if you hit. Yep. Yep, we're out of time. But come on, come on, I just, I just did that. <sighs> so I'll take the star and I'll just leave it at that, okay? So we managed to get four stars. And kick off the introduction, which was pretty good. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be in the lead. Fingers crossed. Team Chug Conroy as well. Actually, if you want to know who I'm going for for the thing, I'm going to be on Team Donald Bells, actually. Anyway, with that being said, good luck to everyone else who's doing this, and we'll see you in the next foot. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good. We'll wrap that up.